Hi there, Queen of Taxis. This is Sandra Edmond with your Fact Friday. So one fact, actually I'm gonna drop two facts on you right now on this Facts Friday. One is you're gonna need more than $10,000 if you wanna buy a house readily in this market. You know, you wanna buy it, you don't wanna wait like a year or two to find something. It's very competitive in most of these markets, so it's gonna cost you more than 10. Have I bought them before with less than 10,000? Yes, but don't expect you're gonna be able to buy them for 10,000 or less, okay? Not saying it's not possible, but it may be a tad bit difficult um, to get something at that price, even through the tax seed sale. So another fact that I wanted to drop on you guys is that if you wanna have a millionaire, if you wanna be a millionaire, you have to have a millionaire mindset. I was talking with an investor today about that today and just trying to convince him as to why he needs to change his mindset. So what does that mean? You have to accept becoming a millionaire. Are you okay with becoming a millionaire? If real estate can make you a millionaire, are you okay with that? And what do I mean by okay with that? Start adopting habits that millionaires have, okay? One of the easiest and quickest things is like grocery deliveries. You don't need to go out to the grocery store to get your deliveries. You can have that stuff ordered. You can order them for you online now and have it delivered. Do you think a millionaire is going down to a grocery store and buying their groceries? That's why most people tell them they don't know how much milk costs, you know, because they're not ordering that stuff. Um, before COVID happened, I used to drop my clothes off at the wash and fold. So I didn't have to sit there and wash my clothes every week and have to fold them because the fold is the, probably the craziest and hardest thing and uh, getting them and putting everything on the hangers, right? So just drop it off and let them do it. But now with COVID going on, now I'm doing it myself and it's not as fun, but you know, once you give something away, a task, you really don't wanna pick it up. It's kind of like getting a virtual assistant. Once you have them doing work for you, you don't wanna pick that up again, pick, pick that back up again. You just let them continue doing the work for you. The other millionaire habit I said that you should have is getting your house cleaned. You don't need to clean it. Spend more time. For those of you that say, I don't have time to do these real estate things, make time. Have somebody else come clean your house, okay? You don't have to clean your house. Let somebody else clean it, you know? I have a lady that came regularly that would clean my house and it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be because that's the limiting belief is that you think it's gonna be so expensive and it is not. How much more money will you make by not taking up that time to do those things, right? So right now with COVID, I understand you probably cannot get your house cleaned, but you can order your groceries. And you probably cannot, you know, get your laundry just dropped off at the wash and fold. But when everything opens back up again, pick up these millionaire habits. You need to start doing things and accepting Sometimes we may feel guilty about it because our mindset is we don't know anybody else that pays to get their house cleaned. Don't look at it that way. Look at it as this is just normal. This is just how it works. So they say you are more like the people that you hang out with, right? So hang out with people that have a millionaire mentality and that way it'll be easier to take on these tasks. All right, so that was a big fact Friday. I'm jumping on you, dropping on you guys, but I think it's very beneficial, all right, for you guys to try that and adopt that habit. Millionaire mindset. Have a great weekend. Happy investing.